I would like to talk to you guys about positive versus negative case airflow. Uh, positive case airflow is basically when you're going to have more fans intaking air than you have exhausting air. Negative airflow is just the opposite. You have more fans exhausting airflow than you have intaking airflow. Now, there's positive and uh, positives and negatives about both of these situations and to answer a lot of your guys' questions on which is better, it really depends on what case you have, uh, the fans you're using, the hardware you have, because really you can take the same case or the same pieces of hardware, put them in different case, put different hardware in that same type of case, and things are going to be totally different. So uh, currently in my case it's a Cooler Master 692 Advanced. I have kind of a neutral, balanced airflow. I have pretty much the same amount of air coming in as I do coming out, which for the little bit of hardware that I have in the case, it works perfectly fine and I can adjust the fans to whatever I need to cool the hardware adequately. So basically, um, let's look at some of the pros and cons here. Um, on positive case airflow, uh, you're going to have more fans intaking air. So basically what that can do, if you don't have enough fans getting the air out, the air will basically get trapped inside the case and try to come out any holes that it can. And if this can be good in some ways, but having too much airflow is just not good because the air is basically going to get trapped inside and it'll get heated up, and then you're going to have stale air inside the case, and that's never good. Now, on the other side of things, negative uh, case airflow pressure, uh, that's where you're going to have more fans exhausting the air out. Now, this is good because all of the air that is inside the case is always getting scavenged out through the exhaust fans. Uh, the bad thing about this is that if you don't have filters on your case, uh, you have a lot of dust because basically the exhaust fans will suck all the air from any place they can get it, whether it's a fan hole or a little small hole uh, on the bottom of the case, the top of the case, side of the case, wherever. Uh, it's going to suck air from every place that it possibly can. So, uh, to sum it up, basically, which one is better? Like I said before, it all depends on what case you have, uh, but I would say um, a balanced airflow more on the exhaust side, uh, on the negative pressure side to make sure that you do get all that out. But like I said, it really depends on where your fans are placed a lot of the times and what the CFM and static pressure of those fans are, whether you're running water cooling, and all that kind of stuff, the heat buildup that your case is generating, where the heat is in the case. I mean, there's a lot of things, but um, if you guys are interested in more information on this type of stuff, uh, please send me a message, leave a comment, or post a video response. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. More videos to come.